Okay, here's my new project. This is going to be a resonator cigar box guitar, 25 inch scale, and it's going to use one of these CB Giddy hubcap resonator cones. These are actually paint can lids that they hand spin up in their workshop in New Hampshire. And Giddy sent me down his new resonator cone mounting rings. They go like this, put this on here, and uh, he came up with a whole bunch of new covers. So I'm going to be taking a look at this and setting this all up. These covers are pretty cool. Classic looking. I've chosen to use a Juke Shack pickup. These are the pickups that, it was actually Reverend Peyton that turned us on to these. They're nice and thin. They're a mini humbucker. They've got this mounting tab over here, and this is for hollow body jazz guitars where they mount these to the pick guard so that there's no routing into a beautiful uh, carved arch top. Well, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to probably remove this tab and just mount this into the box and use like Gorilla Glue or something to hold it in place. I've got this. I got this a long time ago, and I hadn't used it yet. It is a CB Giddy. Let me see here. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Boom. It's his 25-inch scale premium white oak neck with the Padoque fretboard. I am going to need to make a nut for this. I'm still not sure what I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to shape the headstock. But right now I'm just taking a look at the whole overall design because I have this Padrone box. And I can even turn this around. I chose this box because it's bigger. Um, and you need a wider box to fit one of these resonators. Um, if it's a thinner box, and I don't have any other smaller boxes around me right now. But if the box is too small, this just doesn't mount right. And I wanted a nice, good look where the resonator's on this side. I'm probably going to put an F-hole on each side here and the pickup. And then I've got to figure out, whenever you get one of these necks from Giddy, he marks where the bridge should be. So I know that the bridge is going to have to be the center of this. And I know that that's something blocking it over here. Let me move that. That that's going to go here. It needs to go directly in the center of this hubcap cone. And what this is telling me is right here, I'm going to have to remove part of this Padoque fretboard. And I'll just cut it here and... I don't know what kind of glue he uses for it. Hopefully I can just pry that off. If not, I'll just have to chisel it out. Then I'm going to have to, coming here, this neck goes through the body. And about the, the cone itself is going to go down about a third of an inch in here so I'm gonna to have to measure it I have one of those real cheap but awesome Harbor Freight digital calipers so once I get this mounted I'll be able to tell how far down in the box it sinks and then I'm gonna to have to chisel this out and then come down to where the cone is and back up and then once I mount the pickup I'm gonna to have to see how far down into the box it goes as well uh, and so I'll have to chisel it there. These are the things that uh, you have to consider as you're putting all these pieces together. It's like a puzzle. When it's all done, everything needs to fit nice and tight like a good puzzle piece. And uh, so that's where my mind is right now. Uh, I've got to just sit there with a pad of paper and start making some notes. But... This is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to make this a four string because I want to play it in concert. Uh, this is something I'm going to keep. Uh, Giddy sent me the stuff, you know, in order for me to prototype using his parts. 
So I'm going to do that, but I think I'm going to keep this. Being that it's a resonator, it's going to have a snappy tone to it. And with that snappy tone mixed with a pickup, it should give me a really good lead guitar instrument where I can do fast, quick leads. They don't have a ton of sustain, but they'll just, just punch out there. That's at least what I'm hoping for. So, yeah, let me see. Some other details, I'll probably put a volume knob here. The output jack will go here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a trapeze tailpiece. I may. I may do a trapeze tailpiece instead of just running the strings from the butt over. Because a trapeze tailpiece will let those strings go a little higher. Here. Trapeze tailpiece will come up and kind of match the bottom of the mounting rings and the resonator cone. So that's uh, that's what I'll be working on the next couple weeks, and uh, I'll keep you updated.